Is it a boy or is it a girl? It's a girl. <laughs> In their lengthy interview with Oprah, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex provided that non-controversial revelation, but they also revealed a racial bombshell. Harry and Meghan said they felt a lack of support from the royal family even before their fairy tale wedding, and race was said to be a factor as they prepared for parenthood. There's a conversation with you. With Harry. About how dark your baby is going to be? Potentially, and what that would mean or look like. Ooh. This has really been about, from day one, going after Meghan Markle in a way that they did not go after Kate Middleton, in a way that they have not gone after other members of the royal family. And now she is standing in her power. American journalist Mara Schiavacampo notes today's widely negative reaction in the British tabloids, though the royal family has yet to respond to what was said by Meghan and Harry. They hit this head on. They said a big part about this is race. And Harry said outright, I was afraid of history repeating itself, referring to his mother's death, but in an even more dangerous way, because now we've added the layer of race to this. According to Duchess Meghan, tabloid criticism and palace pressure became too much, prompting the family's move to California. So were you thinking of harming yourself? Were you having suicidal thoughts? Yes, this was very, very clear. Wow. Very clear and very scary. And, you know, I didn't know who to even turn to in that. Talking about it, particularly a public figure talking about it, talking about their own struggle, um, definitely makes a difference in terms of reducing st stigma, but also particularly to groups who might feel particularly identified with that public figure, a person of color, a woman. Psychiatric expert Gail Salt says Markle's experience will help others and get more people to react supportively. In a statement, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline said call volumes stayed within typical ranges during and after the interview. Dr. Salt says reaching out to anyone in crisis can literally be a lifesaver. It does require intervention and being a princess, having means, having a loving husband, none of those things prevent you from getting depression.